Wow, if you could just bottle that energy just before we bring uh, the guys from Max Webster up here. Um, I want to show you what each and every member of every band that's being inducted is going to get, this gorgeous trophy, uh, including stars on the Walk of Fame. Every band is going to get a star on the coveted sidewalk. But uh, I tell you, this is a really interesting one because when you turn it around, this gorgeous maple leaf says, Canada thrives. And I was looking at it backstage, and I saw a reflection of my face in it because it's reflective, and that's what you see when you hold it up. And it really, I think, is emblematic of uh, how this music really is a reflection of all of us and how all of us see a little bit of ourselves in this incredible artistry that's uh, been performed here tonight on the stage and that has given us so much joy over the years. So, I, and I, I, got a, I got a star on the Walk of Fame a few years ago, but Jeffrey Latimer, I didn't get one of these. I got another gorgeous trophy, but hmm, they must have changed it. Okay, I'm going to put this aside now, and I'm going to bring up the boys in the band. Come on up to the stage. Kim Mitchell, Terry Watkinson, Mike Telka, David Miles, and Gary McCracken. What a bunch of crazies. Musically and lyrically, Max Webster never followed any trends. Tell me what sort of courage it takes to forge your own path in this wild music business. No courage whatsoever. Youthful stupidity is exactly what happened. This guy was a stranger. I moved to Toronto with a guy I met once. He, and he wrote me a letter on paper. And he came to Windsor and jammed with the first drummer in Max. And it was one of the worst jams I've ever been in. And he would attest to that. And we still moved to Toronto. And all we wanted to do, no legacy, no anything. We just wanted to play music. Well, as uh, the old saying goes, leap, the net will appear. So blind faith alone, that's a really inspiring. What would you say your strongest memory is of playing with a band? I mean, there just must be so many memories. Was, was there a time, was there a, a place that really stands out in your mind? For me, I think it was when we played in this hall as a headliner. It was really cool to open those three Rush shows when they did moving pictures. That, that was amazing. But we were in the middle of a tour, and it, we literally played here. And I thought, oh, boy, we're going to have a party. We're going to get to hang out. No. We went home, took a shower, and we drove to Winnipeg to open for Sticks. <laughs> Welcome to the world of rock and roll. That dues paying is never over. How does it feel to be here tonight? Fabulous. Um, well, I, I mean, it's it's truly an honor to finally um, get this. <laughs> the, the funny thing was, is is they asked us um, when we got the letter. They said, "Do you have an eight by ten of the band?" <laughs> I said, "We broke up four decades ago." No, there's no eight by 10, and, and man, you don't want to see one either, so. Uh, but it feels great, and um, I'm just actually thinking about all the songwriting power in this room um, that we were around for so many decades, so. it's a lot going on there, and uh, 
to see all these guys that we we all rehearsed together. We we took the piss out of each other during rehearsals. We had a lot of fun, and uh, thank you for uh, for all those years and all those memories that we built up over those t that time. Thank you, thank you for all the love and all the energy. Really, congratulations. Okay, and now. Amazing, Max Webster.